Ready? No. Oh. Do I have to start? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's recording. Okay. Uh. Good day, fellow cinema nerds and movie geeks of the internet. You're you're watching Dino reviews. Now, every single time I say that. I, I have to say it in that really patronising way because I have to be aware that it's really cringe. But, because it's, it's an awful intro, it really is. I don't know why I said it, but, you know, you've got, you got, you got to brand yourself, really. you got to brand yourself. I think it's really cute. You got to be, it's a cutthroat industry, Aqua, which I'm, I should introduce first. Um, this is my, not only friend, but this is my course mate, also a mate, coincidentally, on my course. Uh, this is Aqua, and uh, she has a YouTube channel, so you pl- you have to plug it first. Or I, don't, I was going to leave it till the end, but... How about you, how about you give me like 30 seconds to completely plug my channel and plug myself. I'll give I'll give her 30 seconds go go on okay hi I'm Aqua I'm a professional youtuber musician actor actress thingy um uh, I I'm the qu- I am I'm the queen of cringe um um I'm a brony and shit like that and fun 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 like my channel uh subscribe all the good stuff yes now, when you said like my channel, I don't know if you meant like you don't know how channels work or, you, or you're just telling them like my channel. Yeah, if just like my channel. Love if, my channel. If you you hate, need, I need, I need the subs. If you hate my channel. <laughs> I need the subs. I need then to you're, beat PewDiePie. Then you're a whore. Actually, I, am, I, I am. I am a subscriber whore. I need, I need more subscribers. Well, uh, I don't... I need more than you. <laughs> Well, I only have 85 subscribers. I know not many. It's kind of diddly squat is watching, but I like to be... you got to be optimistic. Yeah, be so, optimistic. Yeah, thank you for uh, being here. But yeah. first, I, I should probably uh, say, uh, for there's some people, certain people that actually catch up with what I'm doing on this channel, this hobby of mine, uh, I'm at university now. Um, so am I. Yeah, I do. We're on the same course. We're on the same course, theatre and performance. Mm -hmm. Make meanings out of chairs on stage and stuff. What does that mean? I don't know. We're going to find out. We just, like, just do weird shit. Yeah. For three hours a day. I mean... And then come home. Basically, this is... It, this is this is my home now. I'm not in the same city because last time I uploaded it was two months ago, and it was my second stand-up thing. But I have seen quite a few movies since then uh, that I haven't reviewed: Blade One of Twenty Forty Nine, Kingsman Two, Kubo so, and the Two Strings. Don't get me started on which that. Which he it's, still needs to review. My, because it's amazing. I made a promise for about three years that I was going to do a professional review of the SpongeBob movie. That hasn't happened. Because, yeah, well, I, I decided that when I was 15 years old and now I'm 18. So, uh, <laughs> and I saw Thor recently. Don't know why I'm not reviewing those movies. I've still not seen that. Don't know why I'm not. Re- why am I not reviewing those, huh? Why am I, I don't know. Why am I reviewing this? That's a good point. I why, don't know. Why am I doing this, actually? Would you, would, you like to tell, would you like to tell the lovely audience what we are reviewing this fine evening? We're reviewing My Little Pony movie. Now, yes, we now are. see, a classic, a classic dynamic in, in comedy is the whole straight man routine where one person is just eccentric and, like, oh, bloody all over the place. The other person is more logical and a uh, miserable git. I will be that person because Aqua here is a massive fan of My Little Pony and, yes, was, I and really wanted to see it. I tagged along... Shits and giggles. Um, well, 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 you... Oh, well, I, said what, a no, I said a naughty word then. You said a naughty word. You'll have to bleep yourself. I have to that's bleep. More, that's more work uh, for you in editing. Uh, uh, so basically, so basically, apologies. a few years ago, well, a couple of years ago, I discovered the My Little Pony fandom and I fell in love with it because it's great. Screw you, haters. Nah, don't worry. I, if you don't like it, that's absolutely fine. I love it. She so. has a My Little Pony poster, like, directly to the... Turn the camera, actually. Go on, turn the camera. Okay. You gotta prove there it. There we go. There we go. And also, if we look this way, I also have other pony things there. And ooh, sausage unicorn. I don't know why I felt the need to like, like if if there was gonna be someone watching this, like I don't believe this. I I don't believe it. I need proof that she is a fan. That there you go. 
I don't know yeah. why. I don't know why. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Also, I need to just write. I need to also plug my channel a little bit more. Yeah, I do music, by the way. I'm I'm a musician, singer, thingy. Okay. Now back to the back to the schedule programming. So yeah, um, I'm. She's a, describing I'm a business a, card. <laughs> I'm a brony Pegasus or whatever you want to call me. Um, yeah, I love it. And um, well, I was extremely excited when the movie was adver- uh, that was came out the trailers came out for the movie i was like oh this is amazing and i was going to plan to see it but i didn't want to see it on my own Mm. so um after i discovered that lovely luke here my darling luke does video reviews i binge watched quite a few of them and watched his lovely stand-up and realized how like you should have way more subscribers like seriously you should because Jesus Christ, you're amazing. I can't control the algorithm. No. But it's like, oh, nobody can control it these days. Yeah. But I realised how much I loved, like, like love your stuff, and I was like, thank you. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. I'm gonna ask Luke to come and watch the My Little Pony movie with me and do a review. So that happened. That was two weeks ago, actually. And that happened two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later now. Mm-hmm. I, th- I mean. I mean, we could have got those sweet, sweet views, you know, right yeah. when the movie w- came out and was relevant, yeah. top of the charts, but, you know, we're late to the game. Hopefully, mm. hopefully we could at least get uh, 200,000 views. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> if we did, that would be get some... ridiculous because here's me acting as cringy as hell on <laughs> YouTube, as I normally do, but, but Akbar, <laughs> to a larger it's audience. It's called YouTube. Would yes. be you gotta be you, you know. <laughs> prove, prove those twelve people watching right now wrong. I mean, <laughs> whenever I do these, I always ha- I always feel the need to be self aware that I don't want to be one of those people that like, ah, oh, like those channels that like, ah, oh, no, they're like hi, all my all my subscribers and stuff. Like you know, even though he only has like two subscribers, I mean, I admire. People who are like that, even though they have like two subscribers, only five people watch his videos. He's always like, "Sup, my fan." And he gives his like fan base a name. He's mm-hmm. like, "Welcome back to another video following my, my fan vlog base life." Doesn't have a name because my fan base is basically everyone on my drama course, <laughs> including you. Exactly. <laughs> I have so, thirteen subscribers. So I just need feel the need to always be self aware. Okay. This means diddly squat. Yes. So uh, yeah. So <laughs> basically, so we carrying on. We went. Yes. To, we went to watch the film. Well. I, of course, heavily enjoyed it. You, not so much. Well, when I... Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's talk... Okay. So we'll talk about the basic Put, putting story. The, putting the persona, the facade down, like, mm. oh, I have to see them. I want to kill myself. I didn't want to kill myself. Um, there, did, there was a moment where I turned to him <laughs> in the cinema when there was a particularly cheesy moment happening. Oh, I asked uh-huh. if he was okay, and he says... Exactly this. I, want to kill I don't my... even want to kill myself right now. I'm absolutely <laughs> fine. Um, okay. I mean, when I s- went for my birthday, because... You went I, to see the Emoji yeah, I, movie. I, for, my bir- um, for my 18th birthday, I went and saw the Emoji movie on my own. Literally, because you're insane. Because I just wanted to torture myself. And also... Be- it's like in some sociopathic way, I'm like, ooh, when people ask what I did for my 18th birthday, I said, I, I, I'll say I saw the Emoji movie. Like, isn't that wacky? That's yeah, something yeah. to say yeah, at you parties. Didn't, you didn't spend it with family or friends or relatives or well, I did doing in the something evening, fun. But you clearly that was the highlight. That movie... The biggest pile of tripe. That, that movie made life. me... Okay, obviously... Apologies if you do like the Emoji movie. We're not judging you. You can like whatever you like. Get out of here. I personally didn't like it. Get, get, get out! Um, <laughs> get out of here! Oh no, I touched it. You touched. You bopped the microphone. Now it's gonna make a. I bopped the mic. <laughs> oh god! He was in, so enthusiastic in, about having a. It's high in shambles. Value. Yeah, at most I just do, I literally just sit. I sat in my room with my laptop webcam for thir- for thirty minutes. So this is this is something. Ah. Uh, okay. So okay, anyway, let's, all right, I'm so getting sidetracked. Let's see if we really the, the are emoji, getting sidetracked. Now the emoji movie. No, no, no stop that I'm emoji. As an example, it didn't actually. Obviously, it didn't actually make me want to kill myself, but it made me feel very miserable. Why? Because at least with that movie, it's made for the sole purpose of just. It's like it's a soulless film. Yeah. It like is made just cash grab. Yeah, yeah. The cash grab of like 
emojis and like it was soulless and in the candy fact crush and all there was like product placement and it tried to be trendy and like hip and is dated and awful but awful this more is th- turning into a review of emoji movie now. well I, this is, is as an example basically that movie is bad but is be- but the re- main reason i didn't get really angry about it is because it was just cliched like i've seen enough family yeah. films to know cliched like you know underdog he he, feel, he doesn't fit in. Duh, but then he goes on a big adventure with side characters and maybe a girl star and too. Realize, and he realises that he all yourself. he was searching for was himself, himself the And then everyone time. decides, you know, he's cool. And the bad guys, you know, like, oh, the bad guy's a jerk. Get the bad guy out here. And the world's a better place. He changed it for the better. And, but there's a part in the film, you know, he may be lie, he, he's tr- he, te- hold, he has a secret. And the, and the people he's on the journey with find out about the secret. And like, oh, no, they hate him for about 20 minutes but then they forgive each other and they get back together I touch it again and, and they get back together and everything's fine oh and also it gets for that girl she was on because mm-hmm. you've got, you got a little smooch at the end but it's a PG so you can't do anything more than that besides behind closed doors <laughs> but um, with the Emoji movie that was the case but with this movie I didn't hate it I just found it underwhelming Underwhelming. I didn't find anything special about it. I found it just a bit predictable because it kind of followed those things. Yes, I admire the film. I I like the film. Clearly, has more soul than the Emoji movie. I don't know why I'm comparing oh, to the hell Emoji movie. Maybe because the they just both have the movie in the title. Yeah. <laughs> just so I know they're both feature length yeah, pieces yeah, of yeah. cinema. Uh, but cinema. Um, if no, there has been other My Little Pony films, but yeah. they've been like. Well, they, they're all right, but they're not actually for the My Little Pony canon. They're mm. the side. I, all right, I won't there's get into canon? it. Yes, of course when, there's a canon. Wouldn't that hurt the ponies when they, when they shoot them out of them, the canon? I told him not to do puns. <laughs> <laughs> and what does he do? Straight away. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> all right. So, oh, I, oh right, man. Getting, he... getting on to the actual stuff. So besides us um, mugging the camera, yeah. The the basic plot of the film, if you don't know, Milo Pony takes place in a place called Equestria. (laughs) Ha ha puns horses, Um, and basically Taylor's oldest time. It yeah Taylor's oldest time, and it features six main ponies, Mm. um, each representing a different element of friendship. They are the elements of harmony, and um, so the film starts with. Uh, a big celebration, um, a big party kind of thing going on. And the main character, well, I'd say she's the main character, Twilight Sparkle, who is the princess of friendship. Yes. Um, she's planning a whole thing, and then uh, they make a whole kind of... Uh, something happens, so um, a big ship comes out of nowhere, doesn't it? Oh, yes. A big course, airship yes, comes yeah. out of nowhere, and all of Equestria basically gets taken over. All the ponies get imprisoned. By yeah, someone called sucks. the Storm King, played by the lovely Liv Schreiber, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, he's uh, he plays the a basically really generic the main bad guy, and he's assisted by Emily Blunt's character. Emily Blunt is very very good. Um, you may know her from Edge of Tomorrow or Live Die Repeat, um, and um, basically her character called Tempest Shadow. She basically she's helping the Storm King because she hasn't got a horn because she's a unicorn and her horn has been destroyed and she's trying to get it back with help of the Storm King. I don't know if I should just... Should I just, should I just talk to the cameras if it's a person that's seen the movie like, you know that... Yeah, you know that bit? You know that bit in the movie? Like, oh, that was, that was bull crap. Man, did you see that bit so, with the Storm King? Bloody so, hell. So, um... <sighs> So the main six ponies, the main friends, they get separated from everyone. And friendship and they is are, challenged. They, they are coming before, soon. Before one of the other princesses is imprisoned, she tells Twilight to go and visit the... It's like... Um, they're like sea ponies kind of thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They get told to go leave Equestria and find help, basically, because they can't 
do the, they basically. can't rescue them all on their own. But, so they basically go on a massive journey of fun and adventure. But then, but then there's the part where like SpongeBob and Patrick, <laughs> they don't know they they they're not yeah, manly enough. So Spongebob so a mermaid, turn up so mermaid voiced by hi. Scarlett Johansson, gives them seaweed mustaches oh, to get to you know. What was it in the film? They needed to find what? What were they trying to find in the SpongeBob movie? They were trying to find a crown. Was it? No yeah, they idea. had to find a. Cr- I'm saying I, the reason I made that reference because I've, I've it just this plot is very familiar to me. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> so they have to go and travel and stuff like that, and they meet many colourful characters along the way. There's uh, a cat. There's a cat played by Ty Diggs. Ty Diggs. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name who is a very good character, um, meets pirates that are working for the Storm King, but then are pushed over to the good side. Spoilers, sorry. And then they meet, like, the sea ponies, who um, basically have the power to help them, and then the ponies bugger up. So and big. then they, the sea ponies say, no, we're not going to help you. Screw you. Sorry, you'll have to blow that. <laughs> you'll have to blow my middle that's finger not in the bu- That's not in the budget. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> and so... Um, at the end, it all wraps up all nicely in a nice little ball. So and basically, you got it's basically cats. every yeah. you got pirates. You've got you want sea pony ponies. mermaids that's in there yes. too. It got everything. You've got but all right. So I will tell you. I will say the things that I liked about the movie personally, and the things that I did not like. Mm-hmm. And then you will say, presumably, what you hated. I didn't and hate anything. You know, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> so, what I liked about the film. Well, with me being a fan, I like, I love the art style. I think the art style is really nice. It's prominent. The, lo- the lines are lovely. All the colours are really poppy and lovely and nice. And um, the design of everything, like the landscape design and the character designs, are really beautiful and vibrant and lovely and they really catch your eye. Um... What else? Um, the characters, of course, are really nicely. The voice acting is really nice. Um, the music, done by Daniel Ingram, which is one of my favourite composers, he's amazing, and the music is absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing songs, especially Emily Blunt's song. Check that out. And also this, this film features Sia, the singer Sia, one of my favourite singers, and she sings the the ending track and it's oh, absolutely gorgeous just to touch on the music yeah as a fan i like s club seven for instance so when it comes to cheesy music i do have a high tolerance for it um and like i i mean sometimes i was like oh uh, like when the first song i didn't know it was a musical i i, I actually i, I kind of i yeah i kind of knew it was but then like when they started singing like Oh, th- oh! This, this is a musical. They're gonna, they're gonna sing a lot, and I just wait till next. The t- dread, some, the dread like, in his face. At times, when they started singing. like at times they were like, oh, oh, no, no, they're singing again. Oh no, th- yeah, they're singing now. And so, sometimes <laughs> I'm like, they're gonna sing about this, aren't they? Like, and then another song came up. But like, I mean, I didn't mind it. I have Phineas and Ferb songs on yes. my iPod, so I, I, can, I have a high tolerance for it. And to be fair, the Songs were actually They're, all right. I be really it, be it them. like in the context of the film, Pirate right. Ponies, or uh, uh, like that was that, that was, was your favorite. That was a one example. I didn't mind that song. It, there's the song As called you all "Time know, to Be awesome. awesome." It's a it's a classic tune. Of, it's really good. You all know the song it's, I mean, of course. Uh, sung by it's yes, yeah, I think it's Ashley Ball. Yeah, Ashley Ball who plays Rainbow Dash and Applejack. That she voices them. I think so. I might be getting that wrong because I do get the voice actresses mixed up a little bit. But yeah, it's a really nice track. It's really lovely. Um, so yeah, I really love the music, as I was saying. Um, what else? Um, the story, I thought, was... Uh, I would say, yes, it is cliche because that is what a children's film has to be or this is what a family film has to be. It has to be cliche because some younger generation, just they can't afford... like. Like loads of plot and stuff like that. I want. I wanted my layered. You wanted. Jesus you wanted symbolism. I wanted. You wanted a twist. Ending. I wanted metaphors. I wanted. wanted metaphors. You wanted. I want, symbolism. I wanted the film to make me question my mortality. Yeah. Well, it God almost it. did. You wanted to kill yourself. <laughs> well. Well. So yeah, mm. it's like. So the, I I quite like the story because it was nice. Suicide's it, no joke, by the way. Yeah, no joke. It's don't no, do it. Don't kill yourself. It's no joke. 
So yeah, the <laughs> carry on. We're gonna cut that bit out. Aren't no, we? no, carry on. Okay, we'll keep it in. What? What? Um, you want people to kill themselves? What? No. <laughs> Aqua. But it was like <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm being so bitchy. Today. <laughs> but it's like. <laughs> I can frame <laughs> but um, yeah the story I thought was really nice um, characters are really nice um, seriously Emily Blunt is amazing as the villain in this as Tempest Shadow and I mean when it comes to her character in this film Emily Blunt more like Emily C word <laughs> <sighs> okay Okay, so yeah, I thought the overall film was really beautiful and lovely, and I thought it was really nice, <coughs> and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, things that I did not like. Now, of course, because I'm not a total... I just... You She's not blind. You don't like. I'm not blind to flaws. So, um, sometimes the uh, lip-syncing was slightly off. It just seemed a tiny, tiny bit off, which is fair enough, because anime films can't be perfect. Sometimes, because they... Wait, sometimes it counts as an anime? Animated film. Oh, we said... Little, my Little Pony's my favourite anime. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Carry on. But it's like, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Um, they... The, they it, in the animation, they use uh, 2D animation and a mixture of, like, 3D animation as well. And I thought that sometimes the 3D animation they used looked really cheap. Like, it looked really bad it didn't look good which made me a bit sad because there would be a beautiful landscape shot and there would just be a 3d animated thing in this like amazing 2d like landscape animated color extravaganza but there'll be just this little thing niggling at you and it would just be like that doesn't look good that just doesn't look very good which is fair enough because it's just trying to make it more interesting and um sometimes and yes like i said the story is quite cliche which is fair enough um yeah but overall i thought it was really really nice i thought it was really really good i mean of course i would have i love it uh music's great everything's great um what else can i say like i'm not sure yeah i think overall i really really liked it wasn't the best film i've ever seen in my life it was nowhere near the worst film i've ever seen in my life it was really very good now, over to you, Luke. One word. Oscar. At least, at least two Oscars. I want, I, w I want an Oscar for makeup, and I want an Oscar for best film. And it should win both. But in all seriousness. Um, Oscar for makeup? Yeah. They look great. For a second, I was like, Wait, how... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Obviously, this film has an established law because yes. it was is based off a show. I so did say... I did offer him an education lesson. Mm. The basic characters and stuff like that and the basic sort of story. Mm. And, um... I'm not... We're not... I'm not going to cut this out, but... Uh, if this audio is now switched to the raw audio coming from the tablet, this it's is because now, we've run this, out of room. This is now for decoration. Mm -hmm. So basically, when I'm super close to this now, it doesn't do it anything. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Woo! Anyway, um, but you say anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, when I'm watching it, I'm like, clearly each one of these characters in the background is established. Clearly this whole world is established. Like, for instance, like, My Little Pony's was to act as, like, Doc Doers to me. So when I saw the 50th anniversary... You knew everything. Yeah, I knew, like, I knew everything. so did I. I'm a massive Hoover. So, well. like, when I heard Tom Baker's voice... No, I like Jodie Whittaker. Judge me. <laughs> people judge people anyway when you're thinking about it. In Come life, at me, you haters. You can't help you, 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 you being judged, you know? Uh, I don't want to. I love how you're still using it, even though it's not on. Anyway, carry, that carry, works. carrying on with my uh, my thoughts on the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, 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 well, yeah, I'm, there I'm, was an established gonna... There was, like, moments where, like, they would have, a, like, a, a cameo, ca like, a cameo character, like, from the show, like, a background character that... <laughs> yeah. 
keep to it. <laughs> they have. They would have a background character from the show that like people like in the fandom like mm. know of, and I would be like, oh, it's this character, it's that character, oh, it's that, and they would like show up for half a millisecond. I was like, oh no, that's this and that's that, and but, they would just be looking at me like, wait, what? <laughs> I've got no idea what's going on. So like. I mean, as far... Because obviously there's been movies based off shows in the past, especially, like, especially even a few, like, uh, quite a lot based off kids' shows. Spongebob movie, Phineas and Ferb film, watched them all as a kid. Um, and in terms of quality, as long as it just resembles the show, mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to spoon-feed newcomers. It could just be made specifically, like... If you watch the show, you'll get it. Yeah. If you haven't watched the show, you you'll get something out of it. This maybe did it'll, not. Maybe it did mo- not spoon feed you. At maybe all, it'll motivate it? you to watch the show. The film did not spoon feed at so all. Basically, if you're interested in the show, you might be in, you'll be interested in the movie because it's just a feature length. I think it. if you would have watched, Even, you would need to have watched at least the third season, past the mm-hmm. fourth season, to understand what is going on i mean because they have like they do there was one thing i was actually quite angry about is another thing i didn't like is there's a character spoilers in season six season seven called starlight glimmer as you and she's know. one of my favorite characters she's great she's all of and she's not characters. in the film she's in it for like two seconds as a cameo and she's like one of the she's one of the arguably one of the most important characters and most interesting characters in the show at the moment and she wasn't part of the film which really annoyed me because why she was a good character why have you cut her out uh, not my knickers were in a twist my feathers were ruffled (laughs) i i was like ready to blow not in that sense of course don't i mean i'd at least ask the person out on a date first um but um Anyway, oh, now, now I'm thinking about that now. Okay, come um, on. Um, right. So, uh, what were you talking about? What was I talking about? I was talking about how this film has an established. It's a movie <laughs> that doesn't spoon feed. You. Okay, I'm gonna do what you did. What did I like about the film? The song and the songs uh, were neat, be it like in a super, amazing, su- su- in a super certain context. Yeah. The songs were well, cheesy. What about, what cheesy. about Tempo Shadows one? Who? What about Emily Blunt? I don't know then. No. The oh, oh Emily Blunt. One. Yeah, that was oh, neat. Ben it ben reminded, ben me of, ben reminded me of ben Scars. Ben Copyright strike. <laughs> reminded me of Scars, like, Be Prepared from The Lion King. But, um... Because it's good. It's a good villain song. I villain mean, songs are always the best. Well, well done on this movie getting bloody Emily Blunt. Yeah, and Sia. She's quite an established actress. Like... Like and um, the, I can't remember his name. The guy movie. that was in Ant Man, the guy who plays the the like the oh. sidekick guy in Ant Man. Oh, I can't remember his name. um, shy. <laughs> Michael Pena. Michael Pena. I think that's how Maybe. you pronounce his name. He's great. Oh, he no. plays. Oh, he no. plays one of the henchmen. Oh, Michael Pena. Oh, I he plays. Know. He plays. Oh, I thought that was Scott Pilgrim for a second. <laughs> no, that's Michael. That's Michael Cera, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, um, he name. plays he plays the hench one of the henchmen that Emily follows Blunt. Emily Blunt around, we got and this he's movie. generally quite funny. He got ponies in it. Do you want to be in the movies? And he's like, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. You can I'll be see in the movie. if you watch the behind the scenes, you can see them all gritting their teeth as they say, hey, "Yeah, I'd love to be in a film about ponies." I w- yeah. like, like to know what Sia said after. She oh, Sia bloody loved like, it. Like, <laughs> like to know. Sia was like, "Yeah, this is great." <laughs> like, like to know uh, what she said. Uh, this is a true fact. Like to know what she said after she finished recording her lines. What, what did she say? Sia. Push my end. You're pushing it now. <laughs> I will. I will get up and I will leave. <laughs> this is your. One room. more pun. This is your you room. get one more pun and your, you have to make it a good it's one. It's your room. Where would you go? If I, any, don't, I don't know. You'd lock yourself out of your own room. Yeah. Anyway, okay. What do I actually think? Every, everyone's waiting to hear my. So you like? So you like the, some of the music? Was, the music. Was nice. Uh, as for characters, yeah. The the pink one. I the pinky pie. You like pinky pie. I know their names. Not even in passing. When we got I actually out, I know asked their names. So who was your favourite? The, the movie. And he said the pink one. And I said, Pink Pinkie Pie. pie. Said, yeah, Pinkie Pie. That's likely, her name. Yes. She has a name, God damn it. None of respect her. And she, she was quirky and those. Yeah, yeah she's neat. fun. She's 
It's like they're the Ninja Turtles. There's the bitchy one. There's Wait, the which fun one. one. The bitchy one. Twilight. Yeah. No, yeah. actually no, the rainbow one actually. No, actually no. No, she's the she's just the she's the, she's the dickhead one. <laughs> she's rainbow the one that Dash. Go shit. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Rainbow Dash is my favorite Ninja Turtle. Uh. <laughs> uh. So I mean Power Rangers. Right, so Sorry, you I mean somewhat <laughs> like the characters. Yeah, I mean being cliched. It's, I mean maybe the main ones because you've watched them, you know all their little quirks yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. based off that, obviously they have established characters, so they're not like entirely one note. Besides the villain and Emily Blunt, actually a lot. Yeah, of, Storm lot King, of the actual main villain. Well, same main villain because I can really. He said the main lines villain. like like oh I hate. Friendship, like basically, just think Friendship, of some, think of magic some, and ponies. Basically, it's think like, of some. Really... It was a bit. It seemed a, a, a slightly bit phoned in. The, yeah. From Liv Shriver, it's like, he's an amazing actor. Don't get me wrong, but oh, yeah. but it's like he was saber tooth in. Oh. oh they <laughs> got saber tooth. <laughs> yeah, they got yeah. I think so. so I, hope, I hope down. that's right. That step down is in his career. <laughs> No, I think it's a step up because all X Men Origins will prove it. No, no step shit. up is a different movie. Anyway, um, that's your last pun. But yeah, 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 pun. yeah. I thought mm. he, he's the Storm King was a bit of a crap villain. He wasn't. Oh, were well, you going to say he's a jerk? I was going to say yes. That's the point. He was he's the he's bad just guy. Not a very good villain. I didn't think he was very interesting or very fun. I, I mean, much preferred um, Tempo Shadow I or Emily Blunt he basically is like one note. Is like you know how people complain about Marvel villains and how they're like they're really boring and bland in one note. Like he, okay, well, Loki's actually, good. he wasn't even boring and bland. He was just Loki basi- and Ultron are really cool. That is way off topic. Oh, uh, basically, just think of a really generic cartoon bad guy because he's just evil. He's evil. He hates friendship. Doctor like, Doom. And he wants to that's, take that's over the world with his staff. Villain. I mean, I was thinking about like other stuff. Like, I was thinking like more like, like, but if he did take over the, okay, uh, we we van the tablet. We ramble. Tab- yeah, the tablet. Well, we we did ramble, but the reason it uh, cut there is because the tablet that we're filming on ran out of memory, which is a good indication that I should probably wrap up what I'm saying. Mm. So basically, overall, what did I like? The music was neat. The animation was fine. I mean. Uh, I've seen glimpses of the show. It just uses standard Flash animations, Johnny Test style, mm-hmm. um, which is you know a normal form of animation used nowadays, and also very cheap. But the fact that in this movie it still looks like the show, but I guess is on a grander scale because yeah. all the environments are 3D and they actually go to different places. Uh, characters fine, most of them bloody generic, but at least some of them. I uh, mainly the main few, less one note, and I could tell. You know, have something to them. Uh, 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 what else? Um, it, it didn't get me angry. I didn't hate it. It's relatively fine. There's nothing mind blowing to me about it. And there's nothing harmful about it. And as for the whole, like, be it, you know, people say, oh, my little ponies for girls or babies or anything. It, it I've I've watched a Spongebob movie nearly for enjoyment and I'm 18 years old so whoopity do whatever tickles your fancy floats your boat who gives a giddy giddy dosh garn darn darn yeah don't take yourself uh, so seriously mm. so I mean so you can if you wish you know yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know so it's your life. so basically and a lot of it very I just found generic uh, not mind blowing just standard journey about stuff and friendship is awesome man um and oh it turns out the bad guys you know nice in the end oh spoilers um well yeah you, yeah the bad guy spoilers does do a bit of a darth vader at the end oh yeah as in like no no but oh no wait that's the special edition when they cut uh, darth vader saying no mm-hmm. um which really <laughs> that wasn't a very good choice um so I didn't hate it. I mean, I could say that I hated just for comedic effect. Like, who oh, I saw My Little Pony movie and I wanted to die. But, um, I just found it just a bit predictable. Not all that special. Clearly, it has an established law behind it. And mm-hmm. I respect that. And obviously, 
I haven't watched the show, probably not going to watch the show, probably wouldn't uh, be, even be into the show, but again, whatever tickles This is when I, I walk on, in on him in a, yeah, in a few I, weeks of him binge-watching the whole thing. I assure you that. But now I have this, uh, uh, now I have the movie in my brain, because I didn't think that would ever be the case, but that's it, the movie's in my brain now. If I had to rate it just out, out of ten, from my perspective, like a, like a four or a six or a five around there like no four, five four, point five four is probably too harsh then like again it didn't make me angry i just found it just predictable just kids film it was okay just yeah sure so five. Sure, five. sure five if i had to rate it um 20. I, now i'd say um because my favourite film changes all the time. Like, um, if you were to ask me now. So, Luke, what's my favourite film? Ask me what my favourite film is. What's your favourite film? Short Time 12. Oh, ask me what my favourite film is. What's your favourite film? Grand Budapest Hotel. That's my favourite. How dare you even say that? Ask me what my favourite film is. What's your favourite film? Anomalisa. Oh. Ask, me, ask me again. It changes all the time. My favourite film will change... Every single second. Every, every single two seconds. I love films and um, like like Grand Budapest Hotel. I would give a I'd give a nine point five or a nine point nine if I could. I agree. It's my favorite film. It's I brilliant. Mean, it's his favorite film. I mean, two seconds from um, now, still my favorite film. Easy. I'd give I'd give something like Pulp Fiction, which is one of my favorite films, like a nine or something like that. I'd give My Little Pony the movie. I'd give that. A solid, I'd say a solid 7. 7.4, 7.3, mm. Some, mm. somewhere in that margin. Mm. It was it was quite good. I quite liked it. I enjoyed it. So it's probably there. because I am. It's probably because I like it. I, I I'm used to it, and I've I've it's, so, it's bias. So but what about if it's like no shadow of doubt, uh, awfully made half ass film. Would your oh, attachment? If it was awfully would, would, made, I would. I would have. It's your attachment way. wouldn't blind you. No, it wouldn't. I know a shit film when I see one. Mm. I mean, like I, I can, because there's a lot of things where I've been fans of things, and then I've watched it, and I've gone, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Mm. I mean, good on the show for being big enough to like, get a um, bloody movie. I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan, and I love the films and stuff like that. And then one day I decided, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the animated version that came out before the uh, before the Peter Jackson film watched it shit <laughs> I thought it was not very good I didn't like it very much mm. so my bias and I loved Lord of the Rings religiously I, it is one of my it's probably my favourite trilogy of anything not a big fan of the Hobbit films Desolation of Smaug is okay Wait, even past the Big Mama's House trilogy wow so overall, I I quite liked it. I quite enjoyed it. Wow, uh, my patronising humour aside, thoughts are now given. Very much liked it in all reality, realistically, rationally. Fine. It was fine. Okay. Obviously, when I was sitting there, I was like, it's not really up my the alley. The best bit was when because we got in, and there was like, I'd say about. All the, li all the like little girls people. and like mums who don't there really want to be there were giving us the stink people. eye. There were five people in the theatre. I was like, why are they walking it's in a here? a small theatre. We walk in. We're the only two male people of in our the age, room, also. Of our age in the room. I've got a My Little Pony t shirt on. And I was, I we was sit wearing, down. I was wearing some article of clothing. You weren't. You weren't wearing well, something. I mean, if I didn't wear, if I went in wearing no articles of clothing, even, with even, little girls being in there, that even would the be person bad. selling the tickets was miserable when we asked, and I tried I to make a joke. I think that's just because she hates her job. Probably, but we we went in, and it was, and I was the only one who laughed at any of the jokes. I was the only one who laughed, and I clapped at the end because, just to piss him off. Because he was sinking slowly, slowly further down. Mainly for comedic effect. <laughs> As for the humour in this film, 
made me cringy. Well, um, the, the humour is actually quite good. Like it is always in the show and stuff like that. There were that's one other thing that I one thing I must touch on that I didn't really like, and it's possibly the thing I didn't like the most. Some of the lines, the Nazi yes, imagery. were very like you hear them and you're like, oh no. <laughs> Like, hey, you're the, it's the main event, we get it, you're a fucking horse. Apologies, you're going to have to bleep I'm not bleeping anything, I'm too lazy. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going, this is almost 40 minutes long, I'm not going through all that just to remember Oh, no swore. way, you're not. <laughs> so, yeah, those are, this is very nihilistic of me, 40 minute bloody talk of the... My Little Pony movie between someone who didn't think much of it and isn't a fan and isn't familiar besides in passing and someone who very much liked it, is a fan and whatever the third thing I said was. Um, and that's it's 40 minutes long. This will be on the internet forever, I yeah. assume. Uh, no one will care. It will blend into obscurity. Unless it suddenly gets a Unless views someone exactly after, types then... in Dino reviews My Little Pony, it will be there. And then shares it with Simon yeah. Cowell or something like that. Yeah. Simon, uh, why would Simon Cowell give a shit? Probably no idea. Um, but still... Simon Cowell, if you're watching, hi. I mean, even... Like, even if it was, like, I don't know, someone just assumed from this video and didn't even watch it, like, oh, Luke reviewed My Little Pony. He must be a fan of My Little Pony. I don't know. This is something I wonder. Like, would I take offence to that? I mean, I don't think so, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't quite say, no, I'm not a fan. It's just something that's clearly... Like, when you wa like, when I was watching it, yes, it was a bit quite cheesy and cringy, but, you know, I... I just spent I want I didn't I'm too overly polite with it and then with all the sparkles and friendship is awesome and like playing bloody rock songs and stuff because oh they're kicking the villains well, they ass. Were more, they were more orchestral. Uh, sure, they had a bloody they were, orchestral Daniel Ingram, of the, a band the, the, to play the, the soundtrack. The composer composed the music. Is always very orchestral. Oh and man, that the death. Not saying the rock the music. The scene when the pony was music. holding the dead pony. In her, in her arms covered in blood. Like, all, don't leave me! I really me. think we should wrap this up. Because yeah. this is going to be way too long. Well, uh, I was going to make a dirty joke. So, yeah. Ooh. Like <laughs> and subscribe if you like this. If you like. Yeah. Oh, God, I just stole that from Dodie. I apologise, Dodie. No. If you haven't seen Dodie, subscribe to Dodie. She's great. Mm. But, yeah. Also, subscribe to, subscribe to Dina Reviews. Okay. Or subscribe to Luke. He does funny content. He does stand up and he does reviews. In case you don't know, uh, also subscribe to me. I do music and things like that. Just type in Aqua the Fox or one word into the search engine, or um, I'll probably send Luke a link and link and Luke can put a link in the description. Um, um, I forgot what I say at the end. Um, oh, what did I say? Something I say, you're I say, very out of practice. No, what's the thing I say at the end? I say, um, see, see you later, screen watchers. You've been watching, do no, that's something I say at the beginning. I say, like, screen watch something to do with the word screen watchers. Either way, goodbye. <laughs> there, there you go. No, don't.